am Colleen May Pugong, your science buddy for today. In this video, I will show you the comparison of how sucrose and sodium chloride dissolve in water. College has fully equipped facilities, especially the science laboratory. It helps students to fully understand different scientific concepts through scientific experiments, making learning fun and enjoyable. This is how Evelyn Christian College produces effective Christian citizens. A molecule composed of two monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. Another one is sodium chloride, or simply known as table soap, which is commonly used as food preservatives. And water, which is known as the universal solvent. We will also be using some laboratory materials like beaker, so let's begin. First, fill one of the beakers with sucrose. And the other one with sodium chloride. Pour 200 ml of water into both of the beakers. Steer the solutions with a steering rod. Observe what happened. When sugar was mixed with water, the big chunks of sugar molecules start to break down because the molecules are polar. After stirring, 
the sugar was dissolved by water. When it was dissolved by water, it became transparent, where almost nothing was there. But you can see how different the light was while traveling to the liquid with dissolved sugar. It looks more contrasty. As I stir, I feel as if the liquid is more viscous. Dissolving salt in water did not produce the same result as the sugar in appearance, but water can dissolve salt because again of polar molecules. The salt itself looks finer than sugar. After dissolving, we do not get the same contrasty colors of the light passing through the liquid but instead it is whiter and has bubbles. During the steering process, the liquid was white. Also, it was not viscous as compared to the solution with sucrose. That's all for today. We hope that you stay tuned for the next ECC Science Buddy video. Bye-bye!